Now in our program we receive Jamir Chabur, who is a human rights advocate and activist, also a member of the Red Condor Network. We welcome Jamir. Hello, uh, pleasure to be on Telesur. And we are super pleasure to have you here. So let's start with our, our moment here alive. So given the context and the circumstances of Biden's sworn in ceremony, as we know, he inherits a troubled country in terms of migration, health crisis and environmental policies, which are the expectations regarding human rights in the US now that Biden is taking office. Yeah, so today marks the 46th um, inauguration of the president, Joseph Biden. Uh, towards the presidency of the United States. And right now he inherits a country that is extremely polarized. Um, right now, in regards to human rights, people wait um, to see the promises that him and Vice President Kamala Harris has promised the people. And these promises of, um, let's say, uh, what they're gonna do about the police with police brutality yeah. or with immigration, uh, people are waiting to see if they're they're going to uh, meet those demands of the people which got them elected in the first place. Like we have to see if Biden is going to free the children that are in the cages, which Trump put the, the Central American children fleeing out of e economic um, insecurity, uh, if he's going to free those children. And uh, we have to wait and see, but uh, we the people here in the United States have to assert our right and we have to pressure uh, Biden and the Harris administration to uh, move forward with their with their promises. Also, Jamir, we know that 14 days ago in the very same capital steps where Biden will be sworn in, there was a pro-Trump rioters. We know the violent acts that took place there. So in terms of Homeland Security, can you please elaborate for us? How is the domestic security landscape for Biden's administration now? Yeah, so right now, Washington, D.C. looks like a war zone. Uh, it looks like um, basically like Iraq, where you have green zones and red zones. And this is because of what, what occurred the 6th of January, the, the fascist white supremacist insurrection, which uh, they, uh, the right wingers, whether it's the Proud Boys, the Oath Keepers, the Three Percenters, haven't come out with a statement these, these uh, last couple of days but they uh, said they, they put out their intention that they are planning to do uh, an attack. And these are people who are um, armed and as well are infiltrated within the army. So uh, right now, uh, Washington is in high alert to see if these extremists are planning uh, to do anything today in this inauguration. I have uh, a last question for you, Yamir. So do you consider that Biden's administration will effectively and successfully reverse Trump's damaging policies? Well, I, I feel like the, the Trump, I mean, the, the Biden administration might feel like they're canceling Trump, but they are not going to cancel uh, what Trump represents, which is basically white supremacy and capitalism and U.S. imperialism. Um, you see it evidently uh, with who's coming to the inauguration. Um, you, you have uh, the fake the fake coup ambassador, Carlos Vecchio, attending the Biden administration. So that shows a president's of, of that Biden's uh, policy, like inter international policy, like let's say in regards to Venezuela, is not going to change. I mean, um, and as far as Cuba, uh, neither. I mean, uh, Biden is probably going to... Uh, attempt more soft powers so the, the the there there won't be as much reverse of policy uh, between the biden administration and the trump administration which reminds me of one um what malcolm x once said between the democrats and the republicans uh saying how the democrats are like foxes and the republicans are wolves where you would see the democrats the foxes um, smile at you before they eat you and the Republicans, you will see them come already to eat you. So I, I don't feel that there won't be uh, as much differences. There's going to be just more like uh, smiles in the Biden administration, but uh, we have to wait and see. 
you are super right. We'll have to wait and see how this the situation develops and how the Biden administration can resolve certain issues. Thank you, Yamir, for your presence and time here in From the South.